when you're trying to change things, you always start with people, culture, and specifically leadership of those people within that culture. You look at what works, what doesn't, what has worked in the past. You look at what are the norms and expectations of that community and look for opportunities to introduce change where you see is needed or where you believe it would be beneficial for both the present and even more importantly, the future of that organization. As you're enacting changes, it is important to pace yourself and pace others who will come alongside you as you move forward. Hopefully, they will come alongside you and they will see the value in your vision and direction that you're setting forward. Managing the pace of change is important in order for that change to grow some roots, gain traction, and garner enough interest and support. In some areas, you can move faster. In others, you need to be very slow, methodical, bring in the right champions and partners along the way as you're building this new organization or this new service model. Because just going from knowing where you want to be, and sometimes it takes you months, sometimes it takes you years to get here, okay? But knowing where you need to be in a modern competitive environment, and if you are here, right, going from zero to 200 miles an hour um, rarely works. Rarely works well. It's really sustainable in the long term because you haven't influenced the cultural change, norms, policies, procedures, acceptable behaviors in order to start changing and building this complex organization in order for it to become on its own in a more natural and, and organic way that final state and that final outcome. So it's very important to manage the pace of change. Be very thoughtful. How do you move forward? Who do you involve? When? How? How do you build partnerships? Where do you delegate some of the responsibilities and get others to help you on this journey because you can't do it alone and should not be doing it alone? Cultural changes, changes in organizational leadership, direction, outcomes that ultimately lead to outcomes are a cohesive, collaborative approach. And the more people you can get involved from different perspectives, different backgrounds, with diverse experiences and different functional areas, the better it will be because they themselves then become champions in their own functional areas of this new way of doing things. So be very mindful. How do you manage the pace of change as you move forward in a new organization, new business, new industry, or new product segment? Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comments below on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.